Welcome, old friends and new, to the Bring Your Own Grief Network and a special episode, Daily Inspirations. Our existence on Earth is not infinite. Shortly after the first breath of life came to mankind, so too did the ultimate reality of losing someone loved deeply. Mourning and grief, therefore, are as old as life itself and have been the impassioned topic of many well-known philosophers, scholars, poets, prophets, playwrights, and many more over the centuries. Well, I'd like to share my favorite pieces of these works here with you today. One inspiration, one episode for each day of the year. Each remains in my cherished collection and continues to help me on my painful journey towards hope and healing. So join me now, please, as I present to you today's daily inspiration. I do hope that perhaps it might serve you as it has me. January 3rd. Already the year seems to be moving so fast. I only wish our grief healing journey would move forward like the calendar does at times, huh? We have a long journey ahead and a long life too. Listen, although we will never completely heal from our loss, we will move forward and know that we have a life ahead of us with our lost loved one with us at all times. And I am honored you are here to travel down our healing journey together, if only for just a few moments of shared thought. It's always comforting in some ways to know I am not alone. It was not just me who experienced a loss, although I don't wish this on anyone. Regardless, know I am grateful for you being here today. Come back as often as it feels right, okay? Now, today's daily inspiration is from an anonymous source, something I picked up along the way and really took to heart, but all the research into the original writer came up short. Perhaps someone can make comments below the video, who knows, and help me discover the author. It would give me great joy. Our anonymous griever, obviously a griever, gifted us with the following healing words. What moves through us is a silence, a quiet sadness, a longing for one more day, one more word, one more touch. We may not understand why you left this earth so soon or why you left before we were ready to say goodbye. But little by little, we begin to remember not just that you died, but that you lived and that your life gave us memories too beautiful to forget. Wow, sometimes written words don't need explanation. These are those words, so much truth in them. A quiet, a silent sadness. The writer talks of these things. So much of what I felt, it puts me right in a high back chair sitting before a window, longing, yearning, wanting to get just one more day with my child. I didn't understand why he had to go. Why not me instead? But like our anonymous griever writes, I would come to understand that I had been blessed to spend 16 wonderful years with an amazing soul, a soul who had his own plans with our maker. And yes, even if I knew it would only be 16 years, if given the chance, I would certainly do it all again. And at the end, our anonymous griever writes, and that your life gave us memories too beautiful to forget. I remember when hearing Jonathan's name early on brought tears of pain, of sorrow, of longing. Today when I hear his name or I say his name, I smile and every now and then when the time is right, I still get tears, but they are tears from memories of our wonderful times together. Some often cite the lyrics of a popular song. I could have missed the pain, but I would have had to miss the dance. Well, I danced for 16 years and we still dance together. He is with me every second, every moment, today and every day. So that's today's daily inspiration and my thoughts. But you know, as well as I do, we are all as unique as snowflakes and fingerprints, aren't we? You may well take the words differently and I ask, I welcome and would love to have you leave your unique understanding of the words we shared together in the comments section below this YouTube video. Please do. I welcome the conversation, the chance to start a dialogue and get to know the thoughts of my fellow grievers and maybe, maybe travel a little farther myself down the path of hope and healing. If you found value in this daily inspiration, please like it here on YouTube and share it with others. 
Share it with those you feel could use a hand to hold on to. And please subscribe to the BYOG Network YouTube channel. The more likes, shares, and subscribers we have, the easier it is for other bereaved souls to find help in their search. So thank you for spending this time of healing with me. No, I am so very sorry for your loss, as I know you are mine. I am R. Glenn Kelly. May you find peace and purpose.